all fishermen have fallen victim to this creature. This is the arch nemesis of all anglers. It looks a little bit like this. Oh, damn it. Why is my drag so freaking loose? Now, let me tell you how it all started. It all started one winter many, many years ago. There was a gremlin named Panko, and uh, he went to the water's edge. He was crying with sorrow. Uh, he was upset. And suddenly he heard a voice, what's wrong? And he looked up and wiped away his tears. He wanted to see anybody, anybody to see he was crying. And it was the head of a 12 pound bass poking out of the water. And so Panko explained to the bass like why he was upset that uh, they had had a really bad growing season and the winter was the harshest that the elders had ever seen. And so his whole village was starving. And the bass listened patiently to him and my school can help your village, but you must help us in return. And Panko jumped up quickly. He was all excited and he was like, anything, anything you want. And the bass said, uh, just bring your village to the uh, shoreline tomorrow and we'll feed everybody. And Panko was excited and he ran all the way back to the village to tell everybody they were saved. The bass were going to save them. So the next day, all the gremlins from the village lined up on the shoreline, anxiously waiting for a meal. They hadn't had a meal in months. Okay, maybe days. <laughs> maybe months is a little bit too much. <laughs> anyway, there was a swirl. And suddenly the big bass head appeared. And he called out to Panko. Panko, do you remember our deal? And Panko said, yes, we agree. If you help my village, we will help your school in the future. And we will ret return the favor. So the bass said okay, and he disappeared back under the water. And the villagers, the gremlins, they were all standing there waiting for like 30 minutes. Nothing happened. They started to doubt whether the bass was going to actually help them or not, or he was just playing mind games. And then suddenly this explosion of 50 bass jump out of the water, and they go... <sighs> <laughs> this scared the villagers like what? So they take a step back from the shoreline and this hail of shad and crawdads lands at their feet. The bass did this over and over again until all the gremlins had enough food for the rest of the winter. And Panko was just crying with joy. He couldn't believe it. And he was like, Bass, like, is there anything we can do for you? Like, how can we repay you? And the bass said, Return to the water's edge when the dogwoods, dogwoods bloom in the spring. And Panko said, okay. So when the first bud cracked on the dogwood tree, the grateful Grimla village headed straight to the water. Panko called out, big bass were here as promised. And there was a ripple in the water. <clears throat> and the big bass poked his head out. And he said, now it's our turn. Our school needs help now. There are these mean creatures called anglers. They recompose a little bit. And they like to trick us into eating fake food and it has spikes in it. And this food is attached to these power poles that drag us through the water and they yell and scream with excitement as they drag us through. They're god awful. When they get us in the boat where we can't breathe, they sniff our breath. Some of them kiss us. But they all snarl and show their teeth. <clears throat> My cousin Susie actually got licked by one and she's still swimming in circles. <laughs> Panko's eyes were big as golf balls. My word, that sounds awful. What can we do to help? And the bass replied, Well, they do have a weakness on these power sticks. If you turn the button all the way, the sticks lose the power and they can't drag us through the water. <clears throat> he said, But you got to be sneaky. Because they can turn it the other way and they have the power again. So you got to sneak in there and turn it without them noticing. So all the gremlins got busy. They were sneaking around. Loosening drag on all the anglers' fishing rods. And you could just hear whale after whale after whale of anguish. Anguish. And the gremlins would snicker and hee hee hee. You know. 
Well, it worked out to be so successful for the bass and the gremlins that they kept the deal going to this day. So occasionally you will still hear the buzz of a loose drag and then the cry of an of a angler as they lose the fish. And then a quiet snicker. <laughs> so that's the story of the drag gremlin. <laughs> Tie lines, everyone. <laughs> All right, Coda. You're so quiet. You did so good. Thank you.